on that topic, um, one of our nation's leading scholars uh, made some comments this week that we were hoping to get your thoughts on. I now, love I'm scholars. talking, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, legal scholar oh, Alan le- Dershowitz. Oh, that, I love Alan Dershowitz. <laughs> the yep. Dersh, if, if, what, the sharpest legal mind in America. He's a board member of the Insurgents LLC, but we can have this yeah, is a little is. conflict of interest, so we got to mm-hmm. negotiate this carefully here. <laughs> Let me tell you, the worst department in terms of anti-Semitism and anti-Israel department are Jewish studies departments. Um, why? Who's hired to become a Jewish studies professor? They're talking dogs. Let me explain who they are. They are failed Israeli professors. They couldn't get a job at Tel Aviv. They couldn't get a job in Bar Ilan. They couldn't get a job in Hebrew University. And so they come to America, and there are thousands of them, third and fourth rate Israelis, who come to America. And if you say, hey, I'm an Israeli, and I support Netanyahu, and I graduated uh, uh, the Herzliya Institute, you're not getting the job. But if you're a talking dog, I'm an Israeli, but I'm a virulent anti-Zionist, you're getting the job. And so Jewish Studies Department, Hebrew Studies, Holocaust Studies Department are populated by the worst anti-Zionists and some of the worst self-hating Jews. (laughs) He said... But the worst department in terms of anti-Semitism and anti-Israel are Jewish studies departments. And he goes on to make the case that (laughs) if you are a a Zionist, (laughs) Nothing more anti-Semitic than a Jew. (laughs) (laughs) You know who I hate the worst is the Jews. (laughs) That's that's how you know you love Jews. Mm -hmm. He goes on to say that... Uh, pro-Israel, Zionist, Israelis or Jews can't get hired in these departments at, at, across, at universities mm-hmm. across the country. Absolutely and only not. anti-Zionist Jews get hired there. Famously. Uh, famously. Yeah. Yep. That's that's why, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, you know, have not learned the names of multiple fucking random faculty, non-tenured faculty uh, members of multiple universities in the last few months. That's why I have no idea who Shy David I is. Like, fuck you. <laughs> it's like <laughs> they can't hire Zionists. Get out. Get, just oh, he's so up his own ass. To me, making a claim like this—not that he has been uh, a, a sane voice of reason throughout this conflict, or sure. at any point in the any past point in several his, years in his life—but yeah. <laughs> this, I, I think, just demonstrates how flippantly. People are throwing around um, these terms like uh, anti-Semitism or mm-hmm. just general notions of anti-Israel. Right. I, I, it doesn't just. I would. I can't imagine you would disagree, but it, of course, it does a disservice to very real instances of anti-Semitism that we've seen. Of course. And yeah. and, and anti-Israel views that are just rooted in animus rather mm-hmm. than mm-hmm. Um, against a, a Zionist project. Could you, from your from your perspective, through mm-hmm. your work? through your commentary. I mean, could you talk about how we need to parse these types of things? And when you hear someone like him make these comments, how, how, how does it make you feel? Does it, does it water down mm-hmm. these instances? It's other very real instances. Yeah. I mean, listen, the, the, the whole uh, conflation of, uh, you know, Israel and the Jewish people in and of itself is anti-Semitism, And this is like stated by people who are, you know, uh, you know, like the ADL have said this verbatim, you know, the idea that like, you know, you can't, uh, you know, uh, you got to talk about Israelis and not the Jews, which is true. That is 100 percent true, except for if you are doing it uh, in defense of Israel or if you are praising Israel. It's like the double standard is so fucking insane that it's just like they are trying to pass a bill uh, which uh, rewrites the definition of anti-Semitism to just be. Uh, you know, criticism of Israel. And by definition, by saying it's anti-Semitism, not anti-Israeli or not anti-Zionist, uh, you are then conflating all Jews with Israel. By definition, it is anti-Semitic to do that. So, you you know, you can't, you can't just, uh, you know, out of one side of your mouth be like, hey, hey, what are you doing conflating all, all Jews with Israel? And then on the other side of your mouth, be like it is. It is against the Jewish people um, for you to ever talk shit about Israel. It's it's fucking ridiculous, and it's also nobody who is um, Jewish. Uh, you know, uh, we all know it's 
it's bullshit. We all know it's fucking, uh, it's, it's garbage. Every single Jewish person uh, who has ever lived while the state of Israel has existed, and even before, has had opinions about Israel, has talked about it, has been, you know, uh, had opinions about Zionism and had opinions. And, and we, we all talk about it privately. That's the whole thing. This is what's annoying about all this is that, like, we watch these Hasbarists, these Israeli propagandists go out there and say how offended they are by whatever views some college kids said. We've all had that conversation with somebody we know personally. And, and you know, whether you're an ardent Zionist or not, you've been like, yeah, I see your point. Like, we say this shit. Uh, we have civil discourse about Israel uh, within our own, you know, private <laughs> Facebook groups and private uh, conversations. And then as soon as it spills out into the public, someone who's not Jewish is saying something that I also believe is sort of true. How dare you? It's uh, it's all bad faith. It's all bullshit. And it makes anti-Semitism worse because of the whole thing, all it does is it makes you go, oh, Jews are a monolith. They all believe this. That That is what they are actively pushing. I mean, Zionism is creating more anti-Semitism than it actually stops. Uh, so the idea that it's like, you know... Uh, it has to exist for the safety of Jewish people. Uh, I believe the opposite. <laughs> it has to not exist for the safety of Jewish people. Yeah, and like Jordan was saying, like not only that, but it it kind of uh, gives cover for people that want to downplay, you know, actual anti-Semitic incidents when you have all these people yes. constantly going on about how terrified they are because they saw like a free parking sign and they thought it said free Palestine. <laughs> That's right. Or whatever words or slogans <laughs> or whatever that are upsetting to them that make them feel unsafe or uncomfortable. It's right. like, I just got back from a tour with the IDF and I'm here on the UCLA campus. Yeah, I feel very yeah. unsafe. I'm scared. In intense. Yeah, yes. exactly. It's fucking ridiculous. And, and it's so, I think what's, uh, so uh, egregious about it is that you know the people who are saying it are lying. You know that they're 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 putting on an act. You know, like I don't I I I'm I believe that there are people, students on college campuses, who for the first time ever are hearing criticism of Israel, um, and they are scared because they have been told their whole life that criticism of Israel only comes from a place of Nazism, anti-Semitism, you know, Jew hating. I, I, I don't downplay their fear. I just don't prioritize it because it's like, well, time to learn something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're in college for a reason. One of them is learning. The other one is weed. Um, and, you know, so it's not that I um, think that, oh, anyone who, you know, claims to be scared is lying. It's that the people who are constantly putting out the, you know, the videos, the ones who are making the content are clearly provocateurs. They are clearly lying. I mean, you talk about the video of the UCLA guy, the IDF soldier standing in the middle of the camp. He had to walk through in to get to that part of the camp. It's not like he just ended up there. Um, he had to, to walk through it, and then he you know, stands still in the middle of it, and he goes like, I'm scaled. I am scaled. Help me. You're literally an IDF soldier. There's no fucking way you're scared of college kids. I'm sorry you're not. You're, you are lying. Yeah. Same with the you know, videos of uh, uh, the, the woman, um, you know, the Zionist Karen with her dog. Did you guys see that one? Yeah, no oh, yeah, being surrounded. Yeah, surrounded. help, I'm being surrounded. Like, everyone, they're not letting me leave. They're like, yeah, you everyone can leave is anytime. like, she's free to leave. <laughs> she's free to leave. In fact, you know, the funny thing is, is that like more, more so than being free to leave, they also are actively try not to let people in. They try to push out anyone who's there to do any kind of like uh, provocateering or whatever. Like uh, anyone who's there clearly to make content and start trouble they're like no get out they won't talk to them they won't give them a sound bite and they try to make content out of that there's another video of a girl who uh, went to uh, one of the maybe it was UCLA i don't know uh and she starts crying because no one will talk to her and and it's like <laughs> you you just found a reason to cry uh, like this is so scary no one will no one will tell me why they're here and it's like you're you're just mad because you can't get the soundbite you want you know you you, you no free I, cloud 
Yes, yes. So now you're like, okay, well, how do I make it scary that these people are being this peaceful? <laughs> you know, it's, and it's like you you just go, well, yeah, this all this like, you know, peace reminds me a lot of uh, aliens or something. Like they have to like make up new shit to be afraid of because they're not getting what they want, which is what they want is someone to scream in their face, you know, fuck you, Jew, we hate Jews. And, um, and the only people who are doing that are Zionists who are going on these campuses. And uh, the Daily Beast put out a story uh, recently. Um, a you know a Zionist counter protester yelled, uh, "Kill the Jews!" and everyone else was arrested. That yeah. is like the headline of the article. I mean, it is. Uh, it's just so it's so disgusting because clearly what's being prioritized is. Um, the uh, the narrative of the Israeli government and the Zionist narrative, and that's being prioritized over the safety of Jews. And I think the ultimate example of that is, uh, I think it was back in 2014, uh, I, I, I'm not exactly sure, 2016 maybe, but uh, Jonathan Greenblatt became, was the head of the ADL and he got a memo. Um, I'm sure you guys have probably already covered this, but I'll just repeat it for the sake of... Um, uh, um, but he uh, got a memo from his staff. He, the, the, the question was going around of, should we be supporting and putting forth um, uh, anti-BDS laws in... United States to go through like you know different state legislatures and stuff, and uh, the staff um, you know did uh, some research. They did a little study and they concluded that this would actually cause more anti-Semitism than it would you know stop. Uh, you know that it was actively a, a more dangerous thing to sponsor this kind of uh, legislation, which would you know uh, basically I mean that infringes on the rights of everyone. Uh, you know uh, to make it you, making it illegal to boycott is fucking insane. I mean that is a level of control that is uh, you know if someone you know r wrote it in a fucking. Uh, science fiction book, you'd be like, oh yeah, that's, uh, you know, they're describing a fascist state. Um, you know, so like, uh, they said, hey, don't do this. We, you know, we're the ADL. We shouldn't spread anti-Semitism. Uh, that memo was leaked because it was completely ignored. They did it anyway. Jonathan Greenblatt made a conscious decision to put um, the state of Israel uh, over American Jews. Um, and like that to me is like the perfect example of like, you don't care about the safety of Jews in America or in the diaspora. You only care about not even the safety of Jews in Israel. You only care about the uh, strengthening the, the government of Israel. You only care about the project of Zionism. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, what do you call it? Anti-Semitic. And I'm against that. For the record, I'm against anti semitism Yeah, yeah, good to clarify. We were unsure up <laughs> yeah. until this point, so now our listeners should have a better idea of who they're dealing with. Yeah. 